Hello, everybody. Um, I think it's time to start on the project itself. I was spending too much time, you know, fussing around with Unity and, you know, just trying to get sort of polished things to work. Level transitions are not necessary for a prototype. <clears throat> and I think it's time to move to a more serious engine. So I'm going to be using Unreal version 4.20. Hey, um, if you hear some noises, my upstairs neighbors are having a little bit of a shindig, which, you know, Saturday night, absolutely approve. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a C++ project. We're going to start as a completely empty, um, a blank slate, essentially. I am going to be doing this in C++, so... If you don't know C++, this might be a little bit confusing at times, but I think I'm going to try and put all of my core logic in C++ and then just do all of my design in blueprints. <clears throat> so if you're not familiar with this engine, this should be fun. If you are familiar, uh, you'll get to watch me wade through and struggle through uh, problems that you probably know the answer to immediately. But that's why I'm recording this kind of thing. Maybe there are people who don't know these answers. I know I'm one of them. <laughs> so let's get to it. <clears throat> Whitlings. Oh, yeah. Is there anything else I should say? Ah, yes. I'm not sure I'm going to record all of my works. And if I do, I don't know if they're going to be one hour long episodes. They might be longer. They might be shorter. But the school semester is starting soon. Depends on what classes I'm teaching. But Unreal is basically a better engine. It's got a lot more features, but it's a little bit slower to do things in just because it's so massive. And when I break Unreal, it's not just going to say, oh, cool, um, you broke. It's going to crash the entire program. So that'll be fun. <clears throat> but it should be OK. And I'm trying to prioritize what should I do first. And I think the first thing I should do, like I did previously, is get a single cube rotating. But now I know a lot more about how, how things are going to work. So let's boot up Mischief. It's been a long time since we started a new. Project. Uh oh, sounds like they got some karaoke going. <laughs> oh, I should plug in my pad while this is booting. <laughs> okay. So officially. Let's move this. It is the 18th of August, 2018. <clears throat> and we'll save this to the Dusk Tube. And let's start cleaning up all this stuff. We don't need this. Statue. Sphere reflection capture. I'm going to keep that. Player start. I don't believe we want to player start. Hmm. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit tricky because our player is not really... Uh, our player is just a controller. Just sort of the camera, not not represented by an actual avatar. Oh my goodness. Are they sumo wrestling now? 
let's get this set up. Dismiss all tutorials, don't remind me again. There we go. <clears throat> And they've broken out the microphones upstairs. You know, a little bit of a celebration. Maybe they know that I'm starting this project for realsies today, so they got together. You know, have a bit of a hoedown. So, the first thing we're going to do is set up our content. And I am going to be following this UE4 style guide by Alar. It's on GitHub, you can check it out. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put everything into a Whitlings folder. This allows us to migrate content from one project to another easily. And then I'm gonna have a core folder. And I think maybe I should start with the camera first. Yeah, let's just drop a cube in here. We'll center it in the world. And we'll also have a new folder for our material lib. And this material will be our M underscore cube core. And for now, we're just going to have a base, a base color. So I can hit V and click. And we'll do sort of a darkish silver here. Maybe a little darker. And let's give it a roughness of one. <clears throat> So that'll make it nice and chalky. <clears throat> and this will actually be our cube core test. Uh, this will be static for now. There we go. And uh, I don't know if I've ever done... Let's just see what happens when I... <clears throat> so I believe that we auto... Oh yeah, it spawned our player controller right here. Sure. But I want to change the... Skybox. A little bit of patriotic songs going on up there. That makes me happy. Like I said, this is going to be a lot of research. That's one of the reasons I'm considering not streaming at all. I'm not too sure. Uh, 
Um, do, 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 without atmosphere, only stars everywhere, cube maps. Spacescape? Okay, yeah, this is the one I was using earlier to create my previous one. When was this made? That's one really important thing to take a look at. 2014. <laughs> oh yeah, you can totally hear him. <laughs> See, that song's really hard to sing. Um, visual effects. BP Sky Sphere. Directional light, none. I don't think the location needs to be centered, but why not? <clears throat> Directional light. This is creating its own component here. Static mesh, sky sphere. But this is already edit blueprint sky sphere. Got some stuff over here. Sky material. Okay, so we are going to need... Oh, we don't want our sky sphere to be damaged. That's a little bit silly. And we are going to need a material. Oh my gosh. So I need to create a DDS. Or you know what, let's just play, download Spacescape and play. Let's do it. There we go. Open up our spacescape. Number of points. Um, let's do like a some red stars. Can I name this? Yeah. And this will be our blue stars. And we'll do point size two. Thank you. 
Yeah, I don't like these as, um... <clears throat> oh, and they all have different seeds. Oh, no, not point size. That's a little weird. These are all... Oh, here's our random seed. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Um, let's get some clouds up in here. Layer type. A little bit of noise. Oh, Jesus! Uh, we'll do 100 and then near far would be 0 Yeah, that's fine for now. I like this. We don't need to go too crazy. And we'll save this as placeholder Whitling's Skybox. Oh my gosh. I don't know what they're doing up there, but it's getting wild. Um, let's see. <clears throat> so I'm going to call this... Hold on, this is going to be a... Let's take a look at the naming conventions. Textures. So this is going to be a diffuse. Do we have a texture cube? Sure. So TC underscore. TC underscore. We'll drop this on the desktop for now. Um, Skybox01. Export for Unreal, very cool. Let's make it nice and chunky. So, in Whitlings. That was a bit of a bug there. Material lib. So, core. Um, we need a new folder for art. And then inside of art, we'll have biomes. So this will be placeholder. The placeholder biome, everybody's favorite biome. Hey, how's it going? Yes, I actually built uh, my prototype in Unity. And so I am ready to... Um, I'm ready to start building the real thing. <clears throat> my experience with Unreal is not quite as good, but I'm going to do it. I'm excited. Let's see, so I'm going to need a new sky material here. I don't know if we want it to be a 
cube render target or material. <clears throat> well, I use Unity for my um, prototyping. So something quick and dirty, get it done, make sure my architecture is sound, things are talking correctly. But I just think that Unreal offers a better tool set. It takes a lot more work to get something done in Unreal, but um, it offers a lot more options. I love Unity, don't get me wrong. That's always my go-to tool whenever I'm trying to whenever I want to test something out. <clears throat> but I believe that Unreal is also a, a tool that, you know, it's worth investing time into 100%. Do you work with engines at all, or um, just interested, just shopping around? Interesting. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, Unity is definitely easier to pick up for sure. Ah, some VR stuff? <clears throat> nice. I was thinking about doing VR, but um, since I'm solo on this project, I want to keep it as small and simple as possible. And then if it turns out to be fun, I think it could be expanded to VR. But I'm not putting my eggs in that basket quite yet. No, that's not what I want. Cube sample needs UV input. Hmm, I don't know why I started with doing the cube map. I guess I wanted to get my space look going pretty quickly there. Ooh, ambient cube maps, that looks good. Oh, using cube maps. Um, it's an interesting question. The documentation for Unreal is has gotten infinitely better. <clears throat> um, one of the downsides and upsides is that Unity or Unreal has a different set of documentation for like every engine version. So there's a lot of documentation out there that's outdated. So you need to make sure that you're looking at the right version number. But <clears throat> uh, Unreal used to release 
features and then like six months later they would be documented but now they pretty much release a feature and full documentation at the same time so yeah it's pretty great i was just here yeah very cool i don't think i want this looks like it's outdated from 2014. No, no videos. That's the one thing about Unreal, though. It's so enormous. Um, <clears throat> ah, I guess I could show you my prototype. My prototype's currently a little bit busted. Whoa. It's a, uh, a puzzle game, a puzzle game where you have cubes and you spin the cubes and your little stupid creatures try and you try and get them to the end of the level. It's called Whitlings. I always thought of Ling as uh, something that meant small. So Whitling means not smart, very small amount of smarts. So this is like my main menu. It's all based on spinning cubes. Come in here. <clears throat> and so you can spin the world around. You can see it from 360 degrees. And the goal is to rotate these cubes to create a path. Oh, that's a bug. So that the character will walk from the beginning to the end. But um, I've got like 10, 10 or 12 different special cube types that I've built out. Um, so yeah, I think it should be pretty cool. This, of course, is like the first level, um, but now that I had all this stuff working... Oh, also, the Whitlings can walk on all three dimensions, if that makes sense. Like, they, they ignore gravity. They'll just walk wherever you tell them to walk. Oh uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the menu too. So let's see, maybe I can get my little guy to I don't think that's going to work. But yeah, you can see he can walk on walls and stuff. And he'll just path around to wherever he can go until he hits the end. Some place where he can't walk anymore. Or he happily just moves forward. He can also walk onto the same cube. No! Oh! <laughs> well, that's a bug. Um, he should have walked up onto here, but when I was messing around with the prototype, I broke a couple things pretty heavily. So yeah, this is what I'm trying to build in Unreal now, in a little bit more of a serious fashion, instead of just typing until things work, right? Thank 
Yeah, I'm all alone for now. Uh, my girlfriend is a UI UX designer, and I teach at a video game school. So I feel like once this gets, once I have the core set up like I want to, um, I might pull some other people onto the project. But I am a solo warrior for now. Designer, programmer, not an artist. God, no. This is all programmer art. <laughs> I want to give a fun game to an artist and tell them, please make it pretty for me. Yeah, thanks for the wishes. Um, I post all my stuff on YouTube. Uh, my channel name is... Professor Zesty. And so if you want to check out how I built the prototype using Unity, or you want to follow along and see how things are going in a month or so, I recommend, yeah, come swing by every once in a while. Sorry about my neighbors. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, Saturday night. I'm not too upset. <laughs> Character can step on no collision presets, no collision. So I think there's something wrong with this bad boy here. <coughs> Uh, I think I need to search for <clears throat> um, cube map material. Skybox. Yeah, this is the one I found. <clears throat> but cube map texture. Param cube. Really? Ah, uh, maybe it's um, Professor Zesty. That's what it is. Prof Zesty is the email I linked to it. Ah, uh, thank you. Thanks, dude. Do you stream at all?
Oh, hey, hey, yeah, you can see my stars in here now. Oh, cool. <laughs> it is a little nerve wracking at first. Um, but I just do it, you know, in case people are ever interested or um, if I get lucky and this project becomes popular, which is the ultimate goal, then somebody could come and walk through my process of building this from scratch. And being an educator, I think that's, you know, really valuable. So here's my sky sphere and my material and the skybox. Lighting needs rebuilt, I know. Ooh, one error. Um, I teach in San Francisco. Uh, there's a, a art university there. Um, I teach mostly C++ programming, game design through engines, Unity, C++, C Sharp, all all kinds of stuff. I've taught like 20 classes there over the last six years. Yeah, thanks. Lighting model unlit. Yeah, maybe I don't want this to, or I made this. So I can see it here. Colors, no, I don't care about that. Sky material. I don't believe that this is what I want. No.
Um, I should save this in my maps, a new maps folder. And this will be called, what shall we call this today? It is a placeholder, a starting map, a test bed sandbox. Camera sandbox. There we go. <clears throat> it's interesting, when I switch it to this, it doesn't actually change. Do I need a material instance? <clears throat> okay, so this is looking pretty happy. <clears throat> Let's rename this to M Skybox. Disable all screen messages. Shader's compiling. <clears throat> that makes me a little bit happy. I should be watching the output here, shouldn't I? Window developer tools output log. Missing cache shader. Warning, M Skybox needed to have new flag set be used with static lighting. That is true. Be used with static lighting. Let's try turning you off. Oh my gosh, these guys are going ham up there. Same thing. That's 9.30 p.m. <laughs> they sound like they're a couple bottles deep already. <laughs> Maybe they're pre-gaming and they're getting ready to go dancing somewhere. I don't know.
That's weird. Oh, unlit shading model unlit. One thirty AM. Are you in Hawaii? Ah, Chile, nice. Are you studying um, Oh, cool. Very nice. What languages do you um, work in? What's your, I guess, preferred tool? That did something. Changing the material here. Web development is a little bit rough. I can understand that. I think there's something wrong with the file format, maybe. <laughs> no, it's probably my fault. 99% of the time, it's my fault. Spacecape and UE4. Do to do to do. Playing. Material, expression, texture, sample, parameter, cube.
Oh, two-sided. That could be part of the problem here. I might have back culling on. I've done a little bit of um, web stuff. I tutored, you know, CSS and jQuery and all that stuff. Not a big fan. <clears throat> it's useful, but I don't know. I feel like every student would be coming at me with different, entirely different libraries of code. And just constantly change. And no one would ever, like, take libraries and finish them, I'd all just go for the new hotness. Interesting. So this is saying in the construction script, construction, maybe that's why. Uh, I'm going to try using this other crazy thing he used here, material, expression, texture, sample. This is the same. Okay. Unlit two sided apply. Save. And then in our sky sphere, create dynamic material instance. Hey! It seems to be getting lighter, which is a little bit weird. Um, I'm just gonna let's let's get rid of you here. Let's kill it here. I don't care about any directional lights. Oh, something's happening. <laughs> Update sun direction. No. Event graph. I think I'm going to go with um, oh geez I did not mean to do that Ooh, 
maybe I need to change this to texture group skybox LOD bias one no MIP maps Compression settings, user interface. Hey, it was the atmospheric fog. Okay. Yay, this is still pretty forked. You can see right here in the center. Oh, we got a nice little motion blur and everything. That should do nicely, especially just for testing purposes. Yeah! Small victories, one step at a time. That's literally all it is. Let's save everything. So I believe that the next one, I know, right? The little things. That's what that's what keeps me coming back to to making games and, you know, just building stuff. When something does it, ah, it's totally worth all the frustration. So here's our game mode base. Um, what is that called? Declare log category class. And the category name is going to be wit log. Do to do to do, do, do for logging. I don't remember the exact syntax. Logging verbosity levels. Ah, log. Oh wow, this is uh, super broken. <laughs> oh, define log category, that's what it is. Yeah. 
Oh, extern. And I should be using this compile button. <clears throat> Unreal's hotfix compiler stuff, or hot loading, is pretty darn cool. Hey, compile complete. So I'm going to create a couple path or a couple logging things here. Oh my. Oh geez. Wit log core. Wit log pathing. Wit log queue. I'll just do these three. So in core, we'll create a new blueprint class that is a child of our Whitling game mood base. BP Whitling game mood base. Oops, that should be Whitlings. So we're going to need a new player controller class. And this is going to be Whitling's player controller. There we go. That's happy now. It doesn't, my IntelliSense isn't really liking these, um, Let's add a new filter for core. Oh geez, oh boy. There we go. There has to be a begin. some pretty scary looking stuff.
Let's take a look at the parent class, player controller. Let's look for a begin. No way. Play? Yeah, that can't be right. Camera related. Restart level. Begin playing state. Begin play. What did I call it? Begin play. To do to do text. Mm -hmm. I'm actually past my hour. Let's see if this compiles. If it compiles and we get an output log, well, we might not yet actually. But if it compiles, oh, ooh, hey, yeah, what do you got for me? Doesn't know about Whitlog. Okay, so it's angry about Whitlog, and I believe that's because. Successful. That's what I like to see. Uh, next step. Let's get our uh, preferences, project settings. And this lives in the maps and modes. The default game mode is BP, Whitling Game Mode Base. And then our Whitling Game Mode Base, Player Controller class, will be you, good sir. Log. Hey, using Whitling's player controller. Excellent. So it is happy now. The last thing I need to do is... I guess next we'll get our camera positioning itself in the right spot. Do some camera controller stuff, and then we can start working on our spinning of a basic cube. And the cool part is since I did this in the prototype um, earlier... A lot of the logic, a lot of the tricky stuff, I've already done. 
I just need to figure out how to work my way through Unreal's, um, you know, menagerie of BS in order to get it to do the stuff I want. But I think that's it for me tonight. I'm going to call it. Um, thanks for hanging out. Swing by anytime. And uh, hope you have a good one.